Hey everyone, so today I am going to film a first impression. I haven't done one in a little while. This is a cushion product though, not like a foundation, but it acts like a foundation. Anyway, it is a Korean brand, a Korean product in a little compact. So you have your sponge, you have the product underneath this little zip tear thingy. And this particular one here is called the Secret Key Tattoo Cover Cushion. I recently um, did a first impression on the Secret Key brow tattoo. I'll link it down below if you want to watch it and see how it turned out. It was pretty cool. This is SPF 50 and it is in the shade Natural Beige. I'll link where you can find it down below and this is what the packaging looks like. It's just like a black little tub and it's got holographic silver writing on it which is pretty cool. So I'm going to use a little puff today and I have opened this a little tiny bit just to check the colour but it's definitely, well it looks like it's going to be okay for me. If you look at it there it looks quite dark. Especially for a Korean kind of makeup product a lot of the time they're very pale so I'm very stoked about this because I have a terrible fake tan on right now like I mean terrible look at this oh so like always with my first impression videos I'm going to prime half of my face for primer today I'm just going to use my Marc Jacobs invisible undercover coconut primer I'm trying to use it all up I'm just gonna prime this side of my face And while this sinks in, I'll read a little bit of information about the product off of the website. So it says, perfect coverage, no need for concealer, the application experience that's like magnet. Moisturizing, everlasting. Apply onto the puff and smooth along the texture of skin and then pat to increase adherence. Coverage and moisturization at once. Full coverage, whitening, wrinkle, sunscreen, three in one function, it does have sunscreen. Lasts long without darkening effect, which I'm assuming means it doesn't oxidize. We'll test that out. Covers blemishes, pores, wrinkles with one touch. Tones skin surface and is light but has strong coverage. And it's got a couple like examples here of um, the coverage which looks pretty good. And it says you can buy refills for this product as well. So it would be cheaper than buying the entire thing obviously. You can replace the foundation inside because you only get 15 grams. Which is still pretty good to be honest because I mean a normal foundation is about 30 grams. And people have rated it pretty high on this website so let's give it a go. So I'm just taking a little puff between my fingers and I'm just going to do like a press and that's how it looks. Let's zoom in. I'll keep it a little darker so you can actually see like my imperfections and freckles and redness and stuff. I feel like the product's just sunken in to the puff and it's not actually like distributing over my face that much. Like it's very sheer. Let's try it again. I'm just going to like dip into this again and the puff is like really hard as well. It's like slapping my face with cardboard. So you can still see like most of my imperfections. It's starting to cover but I feel like this is really ineffective. You can see those really dark grey splotches is where it's like soaked into the puff and it's not going on my face. It's just like sticking to the puff. Maybe we should try a different sponge or a brush or something. I'm gonna go wet one of my flawless finish sponges. Okay, we're back. I've wet my sponge, it's nice and big. I'm going to do the exact same thing. So you could use a sponge or a beauty blender. Look at that, that's so much better. Okay, I recommend using a different sponge or even a brush would work, I'm sure. That's so much better. Okay, now I'm impressed because that one dab like obviously I already had a little bit of product on my face but that covered so freaking good. Ignore my like disgusting patchy tan. I'll fix it soon. Okay, let's try it fresh on the other side. So I've got no product on this side here. Way better. Wow, look at how it covered all my freckles on my nose. That was only a little bit of product too. I love the finish as well, like it looks so glowy. By the way, my hair is pink because at the hairdressers we decided to super overtone it so it goes super blonde after I wash it a couple of times and it just looks fun in the meantime. Now I'm just going to use the pointy side and apply a little just under my eyes. To be honest, I'll probably still use some concealer just to like brighten up the under eye area a little bit since this color is like a little bit darker. That really is full coverage. This is beautiful. I hope it lasts. I was so skeptical when it said like full coverage. I was like whatever because usually these products are quite light and natural and buildable if anything. But this one is definitely 
medium to full coverage pretty instantly. Yep, that is full coverage and it does not feel heavy like it was right. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a thick foundation. It doesn't feel like, you know, the Tarte Amazonian Clay Finished. It doesn't feel like Kat Von D Lock It Foundation or anything like that. That feels quite like full on and heavy. It feels like moisturizer. Korean products are so good. The color is pretty good as well, like considering I've got crappy fake tan on, like it looks all right. <laughs> I will of course set this. I almost don't want to put on concealer because it just, it looks so good. This is impressive. Okay, anyway. So if I started straight away with this sponge instead of wasting my time with this one, I feel like I would have gone into the product. I would have gone in like three times overall to go over my cheeks, nose, and then another time for my forehead and chin kind of area. I'm just gonna use a tiny amount of my YSL Touche Eclat. Touche Eclat? I don't know how to say it. It's this one, like the limited edition star one. Just to like brighten, because I obviously don't need coverage under my eyes right now. I just need um, a little bit of brightening action. Oh, that works so good. Why am I so impressed right now? This looks really smooth. Let me zoom you in it's super close. And I'm not going to up the brightness so you can see every imperfection. Although, as you can see, it's kind of hard to see any imperfections right now because the coverage is so good. Seriously, look at that. And it looks so smooth along my pores, like around here. First impression wise, this is probably like one of my favorite like cushion foundations I've tried like first impression wise obviously I probably could have used a little more product over these freckles down here should we try it I'm just doing the tiniest dab so good okay obviously this foundation has SPF 50 in it so it's probably not a good idea to wear it if you're looking at to do flash photography because SPF will reflect and make you look pale AF but we'll test it anyway I'll just um, put on my powders quickly okay so I just sit under my eyes with while it rested by bare minerals and it does look pretty smooth it's like creasing a little bit because I think I didn't um, set it quick enough so I feel like if you're using this tattoo cover cushion thing for a concealer you need to set it really quickly before it separates a little bit but it's not too bad once I put on some um, eyeshadow you'll barely be able to tell it does look very smooth like down here it looks so bright as well so I definitely think those products worked really well together you can see like lash glue in my eyelashes and then on the rest of my face, I used my Cover FX powder, like pressed mineral powder, whatever it's called, I can't remember. Which is quite a good coverage, but I just used a really small amount and just dabbed it all over my face to set the foundation. Does not look cakey whatsoever, like up close. Let me show you. Okay, we're like extreme up close right now. Can you see how smooth this looks still? You can see my nose hairs, I'm sorry about that. So the only issue is just a little bit of creasing around my eyes, which could actually be the YSL stuff as well. Who knows? But it really doesn't bother me that much. Like, just the fact... I'm, like, slouching right now, by the way. Just the fact that my face is, like, uber full coverage, and it feels like I have moisturizer and a bit of powder on. Like, that's what it feels like. It does not feel heavy. It doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't look cakey. It looks so smooth, and it does look basically the exact same on both sides. Just by the way, like, the prime side looks great. The unprimed side looks great. Pretty awesome, and it's covered up, like, basically all of the scarring on my chin. So far, I am impressed. So let's quickly do a flash test. To be honest, it's not as bad as I thought it would be in terms of flashback. I like held up my arms in front of me to see like what the difference was, like with the flash on my arms versus my face. There's definitely a bit of flashback on the face, so I still would not recommend it for like, you know, your wedding or anything like that. But it's not the worst flashback I've ever seen, to be honest. It's quite strange. I don't know, maybe it's just my camera. So I'm gonna continue with my day right now. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and pop in later like look how freaking flawless my face looks from far away like isn't this crazy look at my disgusting fake tan <laughs> obviously this is not natural whatsoever it's not a natural product it's for those of you who like the flawless cake face look except it's not cakey so yeah it is currently what time it is quarter past 10 let's just say 10 so it's easy to remember 10 hey guys it is at 20 past 2 so it's been on for 4 hours and I thought I'd do a little um, update. I did notice it melted a little around my nose. If I look up it's because my computer screen's like up on my desk. I'm sitting on the ground right now because it's so right in front of my window you can't see a thing um yeah it's like melted a little bit just here. I don't think it's really faded at all like maybe the tiniest bit it's a little bit pink here but not too bad. The biggest thing for me is I feel like it's going a little bit shiny like on my forehead. I don't know if you can see that you can kind of see it's like a little bit shiny so i feel like by the next time i update you guys like before i have dinner or whatever 
it might need a bit of a touch up. However, overall I actually really like that finish because it looks really healthy. Um, especially since it's such a full coverage. I'm not a fan of like a matte look if it's super full coverage because it makes it look even more, you know, makeup-y and cakey. The slight glow it gives, it makes it look a little bit more not natural. It's not natural, but you know what I mean? It just looks fresher. So I don't mind that finish, but yeah, it's like, I feel like it's just a lot more intense than when I first applied it. It doesn't feel oily. But we'll see how it looks when I update you guys next. I'm about to go get my nails done. So here's my little before. They're still looking alright. I mean, I've got fake tan like stained all over them. <laughs> hey everyone, so update time. It is now 6.03pm and I got my nails done. Look how cute they are. I'm obsessed with them. So I thought I would update you and then I'll update you one more time tonight before bed. So definitely my skin looks quite like oily, which sucks. So how long has it been on? So it's been on for eight hours, right? So yeah, at this point I definitely personally would have to like use some setting powder. I don't have oily skin. I have normal to dry skin. At the moment my skin's like a little bit dry just because I've been in the air corner a lot while I was over on holiday, like on the plane and everything. <laughs> yeah, it's quite a moisturizing formula. If you've got oily skin, I'm not sure how this would do on you. But if you have dry skin, you might really like this product. And it didn't accentuate any dry areas. I forgot to say that. It didn't like flake around my chin or anything where I'm quite dry. It looked really good. Like it looked radiant. Yeah, as you can see a little bit on my nose, it's like quite oily and on my forehead. And even like my chin and stuff, like it's just a little bit too, too much. However, apart from that, before I like touched up a little bit, um, the coverage, like, I feel like it hasn't faded any more than last time, which is, like, minimal fading. It's barely faded. It hasn't gone any worse around my nose in terms of melting or creasing or anything. I don't think it's creased anywhere else either. Under my eyes, I've got terrible creasing. So, to be honest, I probably wouldn't really use this product under my eyes. Even though it looked really nice and smooth at first, like, it definitely doesn't hold up. I don't know if you can see under my eyes, it's, like, super creased. Yeah, you can definitely see that just there. So I'm just using a small um, shimmer tulip brush and some of my setting powder and I'm just going to like use the tiniest amount. Like look how much better that looks around my nose. It's like a little bit oily just like on my T-zone mostly which is weird. And then like just through here. I don't mind touching up once, like I prefer if I didn't have to touch up, and usually I don't touch up, but I mean, you know, if I was wearing my makeup all day and then all night, I don't mind adding a little more powder. It doesn't look cakey either, even though I just added a little more powder, like it still looks pretty lightweight, even though it's such a full coverage, which is really weird. I just wanted to see what it would look like after I touched up, it looks brand new again. So yeah, um, I'll come back one more time later on in like another three hours or so, and yeah. I'll let you guys know my final opinion. So far, I quite like it. Like, it's pretty good. Hey guys, so um, the only difference now is that under my eyes is like creasing worse. Other than that, it looks basically the same. So overall, I'm pretty impressed. Like, there is minimal fading. There's a little bit of fading you can see, but it's not that bad at all. It's not as bad as some other foundations like Fade On Me, you know what I mean? And the coverage, like, for the amount of product you use, the coverage is just incredible. It doesn't require much building at all, and I literally used the smallest amount of product, and it covered so good. Um, so overall, I'm pretty impressed. Like, if you have drier skin, um, and you are looking for something that is going to cover everything, like pimples and red and freckles even like it even covered my freckles on my face like my nose and everything that's pretty good definitely give this a go so I'll link it down below where you can find it I think it's on like yes style and everything I'm pretty sure it's actually really cheap as well yeah it's only $15 New Zealand actually no $14.42 New Zealand dollars at the moment there's a sale on um anyway that's freaking good especially for New Zealand standards how much is it for US I don't know how much it is in US but yeah I'll link it down below so you can check it out I am really happy with it to be honest it's definitely the best cushion foundation I've used so far even though I haven't used many <laughs> so it's not that hard I mean I really liked the other one I've tried like the Pikachu one it was amazing but this one blows it out of the water just in terms of like coverage and everything and I love the color like the color is actually like dark enough to match me if I've got some fake tan on which is really good so I'm very happy if you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and my Katmandu puffer jacket we just got home from having dinner and it's freaking it's like hot during the day today and then freezing tonight. Go figure. I love New Zealand. I will talk to you guys again very soon. Bye.